Welcome back to episode 12, guys. We've got uh, junior and guard ISO Ebo Ethan Roberts. <laughs> um, and Coach Rowley, who is assistant coach for the Hershey Huskies. Um, I'm not going to lie, guys. I think this is good. I've looked forward to this one all year. I'm pretty excited about this one. I think you'll like this. We've got a lot of questions for them, too. Um, so let's get into it because this is going to be a long one. <laughs> so, <laughs> first one Ebo, when you played uh, basketball in Memphis, you played with a big time rapper nowadays, NLE, who is the same age as you, um, who you recently saw this weekend, I believe. Right. Correct. Um, and you've become good friends with. How was it playing with him, and how is, does he act now with all the fame and all that? Was it easy? How does he act now? Uh, I mean, he acts the same. Like I said, uh, we're pretty good friends, so not much has changed, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, he really acts the same. But uh, what was the other question? <laughs> what was it like playing with him? Oh, um, he was super athletic. I'm not sure if you guys like seen highlights or anything, but he was super athletic. Was he? Yeah, he was like, he's a pretty solid point guard where he like touched the rim in like seventh grade. He's just a freak athlete. Gee. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ebo, what do you think the difference in play style is from your sophomore year in Memphis to your junior year at Hersey? Oof. Uh, sophomore year, I would say Memphis basketball. It's, I mean, it's the same thing, obviously, but like, it's way faster than athletic. Like, the, yeah, the kids there are like, I mean, so much more athletic. Like, you get it out in transition and push it. Here, it's more of like slow down uh, mm -hmm. basketball. Um, yeah, it's basically so, that. So I'd excel in Memphis. What do you say? I'd excel. In yeah, Memphis. absolutely. <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> moving from Memphis at the end of last year, um, you were looking for multiple schools in this area. What attracted you most to Hersey? I mean, what attracted me most was my uh, mom and my aunt both went here. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like a family thing. I was like, okay. yeah, I want to follow their footsteps. Yep. And that was about it. Uh, with medals coming up on Friday, you'll get another shot of playing against Max Christie. What are you guys going to do differently um, to try and pull out W? Well, I don't know if we have to do anything differently. We just mm -hmm. have to do some things better. Yeah. Um, one of the things that we have to do is, is keep him from penetrating past the three-point circle and into the lane. If we can get him outside, make him shoot outside, we have at least a better chance. Mm -hmm. He's a good shooter, no doubt about that. But uh, he gets the ball near the basket and he's almost unstoppable mm -hmm. so bottom line is we have to have 10 eyes focused on him wherever he goes and when he starts putting the ball on the floor and uh, beginning to get downhill that's where we all got to help out Evo it's your turn to dunk over him isn't it <laughs> See, I don't know about that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, uh, what do you guys think the keys are to shutting down the Meadows defense Oh, I'm sorry. Meadows, de Meadows defensively. Oh, okay. So they're on offense. So they're on offense, yeah. I'll just say what Coach Rowley said. Just do the same things a little bit better. Yeah. Well, and the other thing is, too, that their other players really hurt yep. us last time. Cam. Uh, they, they knocked down shots and so on. So one of the things we did yesterday in practice was we really worked on closing out mm -hmm. and getting out on them, putting a little more pressure on them, which is hard okay. because if you're trying to stop Max – Yep. And then you're trying to put pressure on them or close it out on them. It's it's a two-edged sword. Exactly. So yeah. we have to do better in both regards. Mm -hmm. I like it. Uh, Ebo, what do you think you excel at best when you're on the court? I would say I just kind of like a little bit of a like a leader on the court, I would say. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I guess. Um, Coach I on the floor. Yeah, I kind of just like control a game a little bit for our team. Mm -hmm. I would say, you know, run our sets and just stuff like that. Cool. Coach, um, what has impressed you most about the team this year? Um, I am very impressed by how hard they work in practice. Um, you know, a lot of teams with only nine wins, which we have right now, we just bag it and say, let's get this over mm -hmm. with. These guys have not quit working. They're wor even guys who don't play are working their tail off, uh, and it makes us better. And what we all hang our hat on now is is finishing strongly and making a deep run in the in the state playoffs. And I think that's going to happen with how hard they've all worked. Mm -hmm. They're great great people, and and that's what it takes to uh, do something like that. Yep. Um, Coach, what has impressed you most about the team this year? Um, what's impressed me is how hard they've worked. 
and even despite the fact that they only have nine wins, mm -hmm. uh, they've continued to really work hard in practice. Um, a lot of teams at this point in the season would just kind of say, let's get this over with. This has been a, a bad experience, but yeah. they are really enthused about playing. They're, they're continuing to work hard, and what we all hope, what we're hanging our hat on, is that that work ethic is going to translate into these last games and help us make a deep run into the state playoffs. Okay. I like it. Uh, all right. That's, that's done um, with our questions. We're moving on unscripted. Uh, this, is a, this is a long segment um, for you two. Uh, we'll start off with the old ones. I'm sure you guys have heard since you've listened. We'll start off with the old ones. We'll go to some new ones uh, for both you and Ebo. Um, so first one, if you guys had to pick a walkout song, what would it be first to mind? Oh, easy. Immortal 21 Savage. Easy. That's no, easy. Not Anna Lee going 21? Dude, uh, I mean, Shot of Flow is classic, but uh, That's a classic I think one. I'm going to have to go with Immortal. Okay. Okay, and in my case, you know, I'm old, I'm old school, <laughs> so I could go way back um, and so on. But I remember <laughs> recently in practice, um, uh, Dan, <laughs> Dan Clawson was real impressed that I even knew who Lizzo was. <laughs> Are you like Lizzo? No. <laughs> 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 I don't think I like Lizzo, but my walkout song, is, you know, I have, do listen to popular music a lot. My walkout song would be Imagine Dragons, no, uh, really? Really? Thunder, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was, that was, uh, yeah. Absolute sincerity. Dude, you, can't, you can't go wrong with Lizzo, though, Coach. Yeah. Well, I just no. wanted you to know that I'm with it. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you're, you're on top of your game, aren't you? You're music. <laughs> Are you a Tay Tay fan like Coach Scott or no? No, 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 no. no. I'm more of a Maroon Five. Yeah, respect, yeah. respect, hey, dude. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so, Connor, you said you're a big Drake fan. Um, what are, What are some of your songs? Um, I mean, like, honestly, I said like in the last podcast, like I was more of an old Drake guy. But looking mm -hmm. back at the stuff I look at, I'm more of like I loved his album Views, and that was from 2016. I like it. So I don't know. Would you consider that new or old Drake? It's like. What do you what do you think of views? Dude, I would consider that I'd new. Say you know, yeah, a little bit. New. All right, yeah. So like, I'm probably more of a new Drake guy. Ju um, hype. I really do like hype. Nine, hype. nine is good too. Why are you looking at a doc? I don't know. I just I knew this one was coming, so <laughs> I, I just know. made a list. I like it. Trying yeah. to remember the songs you like, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. Um, if a movie was made on your life, who would you cast to play yourself? Oh. You can go first, guys. Um. I gotta go with Robert Redford. Oh, school guy. oh. Yeah, big old school guy. Yeah, you forget your guy, Evo. Well, no, in, I his, was, in his prime, I'm of course. In his prime. Yeah. Dude, I have no idea. Uh, I dude, got for you. <laughs> this might sound like a weird one, but I would say Tobey Maguire because I love. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I love those Spider-Man movies. So like, I feel like I could only be right. So you're not a big Tom Holland guy. You're Tobey Maguire. Oh, Tom. No, Tom Holland's pretty solid too, but uh. Dude, I just grew up watching Tobey Maguire, man. Okay. So I, guys, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna go with him. All right, this one you voted. You've been voted number one for every for by every person, I think, for this one. But yeah, best shoe game on the team. <laughs> don't you can say it yourself. You oh, best shoe. Okay, uh, two best. I'm gonna have to go with Ocon. He's always <laughs> rocking the lifestyle Hardens. Yeah, he's got like a whole. Collection of those, so I'm gonna go with Ocon. <laughs> yeah, I got I got Ebo at number one. Ebo, yeah, no. absolutely. All right, I want to see if uh, what you guys think about this one. Most important Civil War battle. <laughs> Are you going back to my uh, uh, history on wheels? <laughs> history on wheels and uh, 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 Battle of Appomattox. Appomattox. How about that? Never heard of that one. Appomattox Courthouse. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, I would say Shiloh. Shiloh. Yeah, I've been there. Went there fourth grade. Yeah, it's kind of where I live or near I live. So I always go with Shiloh. That's a, that's a cool. Yeah. Uh, if you could pick, actually, no, I'm cutting that one out. How many holes are in a straw? One. <laughs> one. One. I'm going with two. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. What, how what? How's you it gotta, one? Dude, it, you gotta cut each end. Yeah. If you put something through a uh, like. It goes through its one hole. It's just a like a long, elongated hole. Get a hole on the other end. Geometry one hundred and one. If you, you could go out to dinner with one person, dead or alive, who are you choosing? It'd only be right for me to say Kobe. Kobe Bryant. 
Dude, seriously, I thought you were gonna pick Millie Bobby Dude, Brown. Dude, no, it's, it's days are past. That's respect. Okay, yeah. that's respect though. I like that pick. Yeah. I'm going with Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> classic. Yeah. This is all me. Um, <laughs> if you if you could only, and <laughs> what would you say to him? Pardon me. What would you say to Jesus? Um, <laughs> how do you maintain such a great attitude with all that you see around you? How can you help me do that same thing? That's a deep. That's <laughs> deep. That's deep. It's the first thing you say to him. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Not like hello Jesus, like <laughs> hello Jesus. <laughs> I really uh, appreciate you, etc. But that would be my question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you could listen to only one artist for the rest of your life, who would it be? Gosh, go first. Uh, Adam Levine. Levine. Really? Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. You. Uh, big fan. Big Maroon fan. Oh, yeah. Are you coming to their, their show this oh, summer? We, my wife and I went last summer yeah, at the right. United Center. How about they that? They play United Center? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with my boy, NLE. Uh, respect. Yeah. Uh, there are two seconds left on the clock in the fourth. You just used your last time out, and you're down by one. Who are you going to take the shot, or who will take the shot on the team? Could I'm going Ebo. Ebo? You can break him down. Mm. <laughs> uh... Ocon's wearing his black hardens. I got Ocon every day, all day. <laughs> you're seven. You, you're seven Ocon in. For yes, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> the guy's clutch. Um, so this is, a, this is a three-parter for you, Evo. Um, so you, I don't know if you notice it, but you do have kind of a southern Memphis accent. Have, has anyone told you? Uh, that? Yeah, a lot of people told me that when I first came here. <laughs> I, I can't recognize it. Really. You don't recognize no. it. Just how you. T- yeah, that's probably just how it is. Um, so obviously you said most people notice it so that's a part um do you like it and if you could pick any other accent um to talk what would it be i mean i don't even realize it so i, I guess i like it mm-hmm. uh but i mean you guys have an accent too though. yeah no yeah like we've got we talk different than you yeah know. what was the other question too who what kind of other like what other accent would it be like oh, I, I, Australian? I, oh dude else? i love british Same. accents british oh, accents too. are awesome so yeah i don't have a british accent Anything for you, Coach Riley? Any other any accent? I'd like to have a little more refined okay. uh, language. Yep. I think that Chicago people like myself talk in a very crass way. Mm-hmm. I actually like the way he speaks better than the way I speak. I like I like how he yeah. speaks. Absolutely. Uh, all right, Ibo, you've from one of the previous unscripted questions, you have been the number one biggest trash talker. Um, what do you have to say about that? See, I don't know if I agree with that. I mean. I, I don't know, I guess. I don't really trash talk. I kind of just, like, let them know. Yeah, you get that into makes, it. Did I what? You get into it with them? No, I don't no. get it. I mean, I don't say, do I get into it? I don't notice it very much. I notice Brent Wolf more than you. I guess, so, I guess a little, yeah. Brent likes to chirp and practice. Mm-hmm. So I guess I would say Brent. All right, this is a big, uh, this is a, actually, no, I'll save that one for later. Um, all right. Got a couple more. These are these are these were given to me, um, so we'll go both then Ebo and then you, Coach Riley. Um So what relaxes you when you're stressed out? This is uh, I work out. Okay. Um, I'm a big uh, fitness guy. Uh, now at the new Arlington Ridge Center. Oh. <laughs> big time. I do strength training. I do cardio. Do stretching at my age very important. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what does it for me. I would definitely say lifting weights. Clears my head, so that's probably the most relaxing. Right. Or yoga. I used to do yoga. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you like want theory yet? No, no. I used to do it with uh, Coach Scott Small. Okay. okay. And then, uh, yeah, a little bit back in Memphis, but I would say weightlifting or yoga. All right. Um, if you had a boat, what would you name it? <laughs> I'm going with Chief Elena with. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Oh, Gotta honor that, that whole image. I have Respect. no idea. Probably something simple. Like USS Ethan or something. Oh my they God. name it after me. <laughs> Iso Evo. Just put Iso Evo. Yeah. Alright. Uh, what is your best meal that you can make yourself? One of my uh, weaknesses in life is that I don't cook very much. <laughs> me too. I'm trying to learn. Uh, my wife is an excellent cook. And so uh, when I really pressure her, I, I try to learn from her. Mm-hmm. Uh, so 
Recently, I've been into uh, tilapia. Yeah. Tilapia filet, breaded, and so on, a little olive oil, and, and that kind of thing. One of our favorite meals at home. Mm. Yeah. Mine's kind of simple. I mean, I really don't cook for myself unless, like, everybody's gone. It's breakfast. So I would just say, like, Pop toast. 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 <laughs> toast. Yeah. All right. What, what is your, can you even make, a, like, a peanut butter bagel? Yeah, of course. I just put <laughs> peanut butter on it, dude. Not the same thing as toast. <laughs> what, what is your most useless talent? <laughs> you want me to go first? Yeah, please. I'll, I took a class in sixth grade on juggling. Oh. I haven't really used it much since. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> if it ever comes up, I can juggle. So, so how many balls can you juggle? Three. I also Three. can do like two in one hand. Okay. Like, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd say uh, line dancing. <laughs> <Dancing. Useless. laughs> uh, Alright, so Eva, this one's for you. Um, who's the cleanest person on the team? Clean oh, I don't really know. I'd go based off lockers. I would say okay. Daniel Clawson. Really? Yeah, it keeps it it's a pretty tight locker. Alright, who's the, who's the messiest person on the team? Uh, TJ Sturgis. <laughs> <laughs> you look in that guy's locker. I'm not hating on you, TJ. I'm just it's pretty pretty messy in there. Uh, all right, so I, I, talked, I talked about this last week um, when we were talking about celebrity crushes, but you're a big Millie Bobby Brown fan. At least you were. I don't know if See, you that guy know. ship's kind of sailed. She's dating it's, someone now. It's done. It's yeah, her birthday day. Shout out Millie Bobby yeah. Brown. Happy birthday. Happy you're watching Bobby this. Brown. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what <Well, laughs> happened with Millie Bobby Brown? No. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. All right. Keep going. Keep going. What, uh, what would you say to her if you saw her right now? If I actually thought about this before, and I kind of had some if I saw her. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, how much does a polar bear weigh? And she'd be like, how much? I, I'd be like, you enough. Kidding. Dude, you let me finish. It's pretty good. <laughs> anyway, I'd be like, how much does a polar bear weigh? And I'd be like, enough to break the ice. Hi, I'm Ethan Roberts. <laughs> and I'd just start there and go up from there. Not like break up with a rugby player, or like dude. That's kind of off the bat. Not right then. No, you're going with a pickup. A little bit line. later. <laughs> what? You're going with a pickup line or something. I mean, not really. Some line, stand out. Yeah. I gotta I stand got, out. I like it. I like the it. millions of men. She yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, so Coach Riley, this is for you. Uh, favorite non-basketball Hersey memory? Um, you know, there's a lot of them, and, and I really enjoyed my teaching. I taught math here for 39 years. Um, one time I walked into my classroom and it was completely dark because mm -hmm. it was my birthday and they threw me a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure most of the motivation was to get out of class. But uh, they ended up uh, doing all kinds of stuff, taking pictures, uh, giving me presents. And the most outstanding present was uh, a scavenger hunt for my wife and I. Yeah. And we went all over the northwest suburbs and it ended up at a really nice restaurant they bought us down. Wow. This, yeah. this wow. is students? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Juniors in high school. Wow. Pretty cool. <laughs> all right. Uh, so you said you may piss off someone on this one, but let's see. <laughs> your all-time all starting five. You've yeah, ever so coached. I had this question ahead of time, and I thought, there is no way I'm not getting in trouble on this one because I'm going to leave somebody out. So I apologize if I do. But first of all, uh, I'm going to give honorable mention to a couple of 1970s guys. Okay. Dave Corzine. Oh. who played 13 years in the yeah. NBA, uh, Mark Leonard. And see, I was just a freshman coach when those guys were coming through, so I didn't directly coach them. But then we had Andy Pankratz, uh, Ryan Kelly, Clyde Glass, Paul Wolf, Jay Brizolera, David Hess, Kevin Pollitt, all throughout all the years. <laughs> now you get into actually who I coach directly, mm -hmm. and I'm down to a starting eight. Oh. Okay. Um, certainly top three, Brian Gregory. Uh, coach currently at University of South Florida, really? Dave Gilbreth, uh, all-time leading scorer, uh, Luke Fabrizius, who went on to play at Dayton, mm -hmm. um, Sean Dwyer, probably the best leader we ever had on any team, Jake Olson, tremendous uh, assist guy and scorer. Um, we got to go with Coach uh, Michael White, who, wow. has, who has wow. The, Greatest four-point play in the history of Hersey basketball in the sectional final against uh, Elgin. John Camardella, the head coach at, uh, um, at Prospect, 
And finally, Bill Markham, 6'11", from our 1987 team, who was a sophomore on our 85 Elite Eight team, and so on. So hard to really narrow that one down, but there's kind of a, a highlight of all the years that I've been here. I think that's embarrassing. I only know two of those guys. Yeah. Uh, Get on the website. <laughs> probably should. Uh, tell us about your closest organization practice. Closet, closet organization. Okay. Oh, closet. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> closet organization. This is this is fine. Okay. So I go to high school. I'm very strong in mathematics, which I ended up teaching, and I got these really dull and boring guys that are my teachers. One guy wears a brown suit all week with the shirt and tie that he wore to church on Sunday. The next week he wears a blue suit. And then the third week he comes back with a brown suit. And that's the way it was all year long. And I thought, if I'm going to be a math teacher, yep. I'm not going to be dull and boring. So I started this thing where I built up my wardrobe to the point where I never wore the same thing. Really? Never wore the same thing. So I had a rotation in my closet of short sleeve shirts, of pants, of uh, long sleeve shirts, of sweaters. And I rotated them through the year so that I never wore the same thing. And actually, I, uh, I would mention this to my students, mm -hmm. and they, a couple of them took up the challenge, and they started writing down what I wore every day, and sure enough, I never wore the same really? thing. Really? Yeah, absolutely. For, and you said how many years, or was it just one year? That you oh, every year. 30, yeah. I, I taught math here 39 years. Oh wow. Yeah. So, I mean, That's impressive. year to year, year I, you know, I would wear the same thing the yeah. second year than the first year, but yeah. within yeah. a year, never the same thing. So, like a different outfit, like every yeah. day. It's a every lot day. of combinations. Yeah. Yeah, there's it's if you get into the math, it's permutations and combinations <laughs> of your outfits. Okay. Would it get stressful ever? <laughs> huh? Would it get would it get stressful ever? Like to like trying to pick out the stuff and not uh, a little, little bit, bit, yeah, a little bit, absolutely, and make sure the rotation was yeah. correct. Yeah, you I'm a very it. organized guy. Okay, um, all right, that's the end of unscripted. <laughs> we got one uh, short segment right now. Uh, if you've seen it, it's a new one. It's the start bench cut. Um, oh. So I, Eva, I think you'll like th these ones. Um, so the first one, I brought this one over, but this is the first one. Oh so that's Yash, Sammy, a.k.a. Oh my Diesel, and, gosh. and Matthew. Gosh, I don't even know two of those guys, so I'll start. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, and then the other two guys are interchangeable for me. Okay. <clears throat> Based off his JV performance, I'm going to start Yash. He scored a bucket, didn't he? He did. Shout out Yash. Yeah. He almost hit a Shout fadeaway, out. too. Um, gosh, I'm going to have to bench Misa. It's got good size. Oh. To cut God. Sammy. So. Oh, I thought you said cut. Yeah. Cut. No, I'm not going to. Oh, I, I would bench Misa. I do know okay. Misa. You do know Misa? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, so this is also an old one, but. <laughs> oh, my. We got to I got to start Coach Scott. Sorry, Coach. I gotta bench Okan. I gotta uh, <laughs> I gotta take mails to the, the trash or whatever it is. I'm a big Ocon guy. Smart. <laughs> like I said, if he's wearing those black strap on hardens, I don't know who can stand in his way. Uh I don't have to start Ocon, bench coach oh. Scott and uh cut mails. I haven't I haven't seen that guy hoop before, but Coach, God, buddy. Dude, I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh my God. Which one do you think I should do? Which one first? Uh, <laughs> let's do this. Yeah, that's fine. This one? Sure. All right. Yeah, do that one. You know who that is? Nope. Who is it? An elite chopper. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to. Mm, I'm going to have to. <laughs> I'm gonna start Bryson and then cut males or Emily Chapa and then I'm gonna okay. no cut me and then males bench, bench males. yeah bench males I'm going I, I'm starting uh, Ebo Ebo benching Chapas <laughs> and, uh, and and cutting males <laughs> cut males yeah I oh my god oh god where'd you get that picture I just want to know that which picture it's easy one. Basically, I don't know any of those people. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's Max. That's Kadurka. Oh, that's Max. That's yeah. really Bobby Brown. That's really Bobby Brown. That's her? Yeah. Okay. I swear, guy, if you say start really Bobby Brown. Dude, what do you expect? It's your birthday, bro. Okay, we'll give it We'll give it that one. But tomorrow... I, I got to start Max uh, 
uh, bench, Kiner, and Cisco. <laughs> cut. Really I made it. I made it. I'm gonna start Millie. Happy birthday, Millie. And then happy uh, birthday, Millie. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is tough. I have no idea, but I'm gonna bench Dirk and uh. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh, I I I I'll, I'll let you know. No. I beat him at the arc the other day. Would you be in the arc? Well, we'll play. We are on the same team. Yeah. Right. If I played you, so I would. You in the arc uh, on Monday with yeah. eight thousand kids? No, no. Not Monday. Oh, Sunday or something. Okay. But. All right. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's the end of episode twelve. Um, with Ebon Coach Rally, um, any shout outs? How do you want to shout out Millie? Uh, Ocon. Ocon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, shout out to my wife who has supported me oh, for like 50 it. years of marriage. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, that is the end of episode 12. Thank you for tuning in, guys.